Yeah. What is that? Crystalis is one of those weird hybrid RPG adventure games. You traverse a large overworld and explore dungeons like in The Legend of Zelda, but you also gain experience and level yourself up like in Final Fantasy. There's a distinct focus on real-time instead of turn-based combat in this game, which is very cool in theory, but usually comes down to you repeatedly mashing the attack button. Look at this! Is this fun? This game was developed by SNK and released in 1990, and rode the sword and sorcery bandwagon of the late 80s and early 90s. The game tries to avoid this by setting up that the game is set in the future, but after the end day, yeah, 1997, a popular year for the destruction of Earth in pop culture. Earth reverted to a primitive state, and people know how to do magic. So, it's just a regular sword and sorcery adventure. If I came up with a story that Mario escaped from the Tetris prison, I wouldn't make Super Mario Brothers a puzzle game. Whatever. So there's this section of Crystalis called Mount Saber, a huge, sprawling, snowy mountain with cliffs and caves and bad dudes. It's crazy. Here we have a very cool theme composed by Yoko Osaka. Her best known score is for Guerrilla War on the NES, and it's a very well done score. It's a cool game in general. It's kind of like Akari Warriors, except it has hostages to rescue and is possible to beat. Anyway, the Mount Saber theme is just really cool. Yoko Osaka uses a very nice pitch shifting effect for the melody. She has one audio track playing the melody at the correct pitch, and has the second audio track playing the same melody but with the pitch slightly altered. This minute change in pitch makes the wavelengths clash with each other and produce a very distinctive sound, almost like a buzz. Another example I can think of where this is used to great effect is in Hideki Kanazashi's score to Air Fortress. The general dance rock vibe that Mount Saber theme gives off seems heavily reminiscent of some of the Mega Man scores, and I wouldn't be surprised if Yoko Osaka took a bit of influence from some of the sound crew over at Capcom. But hey, that's the way to do it! If you're gonna grind for hours on end leveling up your player, you might as well have some good tunes to accompany you.